Well, it's three o'clock and it's as dark as ditch water today. And it's raining. We had a few days of hot. Oh my word, that was nice. 22 degrees in October. I'm not complaining, honestly. But it's now bleak and apparently it's going to get cold. So it's time to hunker on down. It's kind of a very self-absorbed day. I like these days. They can be restful and relaxing. You can get into your inner self and watch the birds. Poor little birds out there in the rain. Make sure I keep feeding those for the winter. I really don't know what to do with myself. I might set up a studio light. This is the really handy thing about having photography lights everywhere. This is the brightest light we've got around here. So I might try and make my brain up and carry on painting the smaller little details of life. Because it's times like this in the middle of autumn when you think of all those little animals that are burrowing and hibernating and finding their little dens and crawling away and going to sleep. And there's quite a few of those ladybirds in my bedroom right now since I left the window open. I'm going to leave them there because it's going to be bleak from here on in and so sometimes you've just got to share your house with ladybirds and spiders. I'm going to need more of this. <sighs> Good slip. So, I thought I'd show you this little project I'm working on. Which is just really... It's a bit of self-help therapy, you know, when you've just burnt out. And you need to do something entirely different for a while. And you need to do something that stops you thinking. You can just be in the moment. So I have not really felt creative for ages. But I was at a loose end. And I wanted to do some drawing. Because I'd seen some lovely artwork that people had showed me on Facebook. And I thought, oh, I want to do that. So I created this pen drawing. Now I'm quite a heavy pen drawer it's something I feel confident with whereas paint I'm not confident um other forms I just like line drawings really um so I did this but I thought I would have a go at using watercolor and cutting out the heavy pen so you may have noticed this one's flipped around because I'm not very good at stenciling yet and it's a bit misplaced so it's an, a living um, work in itself it's already been through quite a lot trying to stretch the paper <laughs> anyway I thought why not it's just a autumn scene I'm, I'm really drawn to the forms of mushrooms at the moment this bit it's a little inspired by Beatrix Potter and I didn't know, but she did wonderful mushroom uh, watercolours. Amazing, sort of brilliant artist. Um, and that's originally what she wanted to do. She wanted to do my mycology paintings. Um, and she ended up doing little characters. Like, um, when I put him in this mouse, it's a bit inspired by Beatrix Potter character. You can see the character of the animal in almost human form 
I'm not going to dress mine up. Um, but yeah, I had to go at creating these in gouache. And it was a little bit more difficult to work with because I'd been doing watercolour. There's suddenly a change of technique. My brain couldn't quite get around. Um, but it's the first time I've used gouache in oh, decades. So it's, you know, hopefully just all a little bit of an experiment at the moment. But I think the kind of hibernatory day we're having... I'm going to honour this inner world, which is there all around us. It's the animus world. It is where every being has a place, has a role, has a character. Um, and you may think I'd want to start off with this stag figure here, which is quite tricky. I'm a bit scared of painting this one. It could all go horribly wrong. <laughs> um, because obviously he is the most powerful figure in this painting or in this drawing but actually no it all started with the mouse and the mouse is the smallest character in this painting and yet the most significant so I'm going to start here just long I've got coffee I'm really putting this off I'm so slow right here we go Look at this, this is the creative mess. Who else gets in the creative mess? I feel I'm overworking it. Uh, it is difficult. Well, you get really thick paint. I think I should stop for a while. That's why, because 
stop raining. Okay, I've added a few finishing touches. It's turned into a really nice day today so I think instead of being all self-absorbed in my own little fantasy world I thought I would go out and reconnect with the real world a bit although that looks a bit like a rain cloud so I have to be quick because you never know when it's going to cloud over so I'm going to go for a little walk and try and get some fresh air it is fresh it's beginning to feel like winter it's very cold last night so, yeah, just enjoy a few rays of sunshine. 